PD is still looking for answers in a deadly shooting that claimed a transgender woman's life. While police don't know if this crime was motivated by hate, advocates say this is just an example of the dangers transgender people face every day. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey has more. Sarah Blackwood's death marks the 33rd transgender death in the U.S. so far this year. This memorial for her continues to grow, and advocates say although the person who took her life didn't care about her life, we should. These balloons and flowers are a solemn marker for a life cut short. Sarah Blackwood died after being shot here on the Near East Side at Washington and Temple Avenue while walking home from work several days ago. Easy going person. Everybody liked her. Blackwood was a transgender woman, and for so many people like her, moving through the world brings constant challenges. Gender Nexus is a transgender advocacy group and nonprofit. The founder says transgender deaths are now tracked, and Blackwood's death marked the 33rd case, adding, Transgender people often face hardships when it comes to finding stable employment, housing and health care, while often also being targeted with violence. We do hope that IMPD will be more forthcoming about what's happening in the investigation. So far, we haven't heard any details from them. IMPD is still investigating this case as a homicide, so there's no word yet on if this was, in fact, a hate crime. She got shot there, but she died over there. James Tweedy says Blackwood was shot right in front of his yard. He says he stepped outside after hearing a series of shots. He says Blackwood managed to cross the street before collapsing. So I ran over and seeing she was shot, and called the paramedics and the police. Tweedy says Blackwood walked this route often, and it's sad to see someone with so much life taken so violently. And friends have set up a fundraiser in her memory. The nonprofit Trinity Haven will use some of the funds to help its organization continue its work providing temporary housing for LGBTQ youth. Now, IMPD says if you have any information about this case, to come forward. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.